My name is Chandre Pillay and I am a woman in science. I grew up in a small town located in the south coast of KwaZulu Natal called Umziento. My earliest memory of why I love science, my dad was a dye house technician and so he would bring home these little pH strips to do his work at home as well and I would steal them and dip them into any liquid I could find just to see the color change. Luckily, he kind of nurtured my love for science and he would be right there next to me explaining things. I did my undergrad at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, my honors and my master's all in biochemistry. Thereafter, I did my internship, which is a DST NRF internship in Cape Town, and that's how I landed in Cape Town. And the same lab that I did my internship in offered me a PhD position. My dream has always been to do research on infectious diseases and specifically tuberculosis, which is near and dear to South Africans because it is a huge problem and even with the current treatment we are facing drug resistance and therefore treatment doesn't work and so what my research focuses on is actually helping the immune system by targeting certain factors within our immune system as a way to treat tuberculosis and therefore we avoid the whole problem of drug resistance. Her inspirational story is really that she actually wants to help many other people as well. It's almost like a glue that keeps the entire team spirit together. Within the South African context, TB research is highly relevant. TB is really burning in this country and it's the second biggest uh, killer um, worldwide with more than 4,000 people dying every single day of TB. Within the context of South Africa, it's a very important field to identify new drugs because all of the major drugs for anti-TB have been developed more than 50 years ago. So there's certainly lack of understanding on the host immunity to tuberculosis. So the inspirational story for this is really that, um, that, that she's very dedicated to the research program and uh, she will become an excellent leader in future. The most challenging time during my studies was when my father passed away, which was in my first year of masters. I had to take three months off because I had gone into depression. I had to go on to medication. The first year of losing my dad was the hardest. It, it's kind of like you lost a piece of your life and now to rearrange it back into something of a routine when the most important part is gone was really tough. Also, the whole getting into science thing, I had that support from my dad and I felt like it was tough when your biggest cheerleader has gone. But in the end, I remembered him and I fought for the degree in his memory. I am graduating with my PhD in Clinical Sciences and Immunology and looking back I see that it has taken a lot. The sleepless nights, the sleeping in the office just to make sure that like you know you were on time for your experiments, that you could finish in time, the amount of work we had to do. It's huge sacrifices when it comes to family and friends and even personal relationships. I don't get to see my family that often. I'm not there for birthdays or weddings, but at the end of it all, I would say it was worth it. And now I can have the life that I want. For a thesis entitled, The Role and Host-Directed Targeting of Long Non-Coding RNAs in Macrophage Polarization, during mycobacterium tuberculosis infection, Chandre Pillay. My advice to students that are currently feeling troubled or are going through challenges, it's okay to take your time. You don't have to finish when they say you have to finish. Take your time, get through the challenges. It's okay to change. 
just as long as you get to where you want to be, make the mistakes and also learn from them, but bloom through the adversity.